Welcome to Flipping Miami, a podcast for those who want to learn real estate investing, do more, and make more. Now, here is your host, Raul Balufe. What's up, guys? What's up? What's up? All right. Today, welcome to the Flipping Miami podcast, by the way. I always forget to do an introduction. Um, I am Raul Balufe, and this is a Flipping Miami podcast. If you're watching this or you're hearing this on the podcast, um, thank you. <laughs> thank you for, for jumping on and hearing what I have to say. Um, I'm very passionate. This podcast is all about uh, real estate investing, entrepreneurship, and living a cool life while we do all this stuff, right? No one's perfect. No one's got it all figured out. And um, I'm on the journey to get as good as we could possibly be. So today I'm going to talk about contracts. What is the contracts that we use in our business to wholesale real estate every single day, both off market properties and on market properties. Okay. So I get this a lot on the meetup and uh, we're going to get into it. I'm going to get into the two contract, the two different contracts we use. Uh, before we do that, if you want to see more free stuff, guys, check out um, raulbulufit.com. I have there all of our podcasts. You can check out our YouTube channel on uh, just Raul Balufa on YouTube. Subscribe, all that stuff, and uh, leave a few comments if you like what you see. And if you want me to do anything special, any uh, videos and stuff, let me know. Anyways, contracts. Are they important? Number one, what do you think? <laughs> yes, they're extremely important. Contracts are extremely, extremely important. So we do, we find properties two ways. One of the, one of the kind of our special secret sauces are how we get deals on MLS. Still today in today's market in South Florida, yes, we do do still many, many deals on MLS. So one of the ways that we get these deals is we have to use the right contract. And the right contract is the state contract. If you're dealing with a real estate professional, a real estate agent, or a real estate broker, you do a uh, state bar contract for us. It's a Florida bar contract. What do we change on that Florida bar contract? Nothing All we do is on the assignable clause, which I believe is on the fourth page for us or something um, We mark we check on the box This buyer may assign but may not be released from liability. That is the one we check off Now and the other thing we do is on the additional terms we put this property the sale of this property is contingent upon clear marketable title, no liens, no permits, no violations. Pretty standard. So that is the contract we use when we deal with professionals, agents, brokers, um, you know, any properties on the MLS, uh, et cetera. Now, when we're dealing with an off-market property, one that we find through cold calling, through direct mail, through bandit signs, through referral, et cetera, an off-market property of, of you know, Mrs. Smith, the homeowner, we have a four page contract that um, we've had an attorney kind of review and draft up for us and make some changes, et cetera, for Florida. But um, I'm sure the template can be used anywhere and just review it with an attorney over there to see if they like it. Um, but it's a simple four page contract. It's basically the most important terms of a bar contract on this. Now, why, Ro? Why, why different contracts? Okay, good question. The Florida bar contract is 12 pages or 13 pages. Now, when you're trying to get a homeowner to sign, you know, if you, you know, ethically, of course, <laughs> you get them to agree. You spent this time communicating with them, solving their problem, going through the process. Now they're ready to sign. How scary is it when there's a 12 page thing? Every page is covered from words to words. There's very little spaces. The words are tiny. And really, really, okay, I mean, I'm not an attorney, but really most of those words don't mean anything, okay? Especially in a cash sale. Cash sales are more straightforward. During a conventional or some kind of financing, it's, it's a little bit different. But on a cash sale, really very few, you, you need very few of those pages that actually mean anything. So what does this mean? So we condensed everything into a four-page contract. It's actually three pages, and the fourth page is a... Uh, the fourth page is um, a, si a signature page. So it's about three to four page contract. And it has everything you need. It's very simple. You can read and write it. You don't have to use ours, obviously, but I'm just, I wanted to make this podcast and I want to make this video because we are recording this. So you can check this full video on YouTube. 
Um, I wanted to make this recording to clarify that, okay? You don't have to use a Florida bar for off-market. Now, people, the more savvy people will say, okay, what happens if you got to get into a lawsuit or let's say the seller backs out, okay? I use this four-page contract. They sign it. I sign it. Great. Two weeks later, they say, hey, I don't want to sell anymore. Someone offered me more money. So now, some, you typically, you got to go into what's called a, you know, uh, notice of interest, list pendis, uh, lawsuit, specific performance. There's many names for it. And basically, what we're doing is, is uh, notifying the seller, like, hey, you can't do that. And then we'd eventually sue them and put a lien on their property. Can a four-page contract do that? Yes. Ours does that. We've won many that way, okay, with this contract. So what I'm getting at is here, you don't need the state bar for off market. Um, however, if you're going to do on market properties, you absolutely need the bar contract. No excuses. No, there's people that try to use it. There's people that do this or that. Don't use the bar contract. Um, guys, so I hope this helps. Um, I, I made a free mind map. Do I have my contract there? Yeah, I think on my free mind map, if you go to my website, raulbulufa.com, and you click on the coaching tab, I should have a free, yeah, a free mind map on there. And in that mind map, I have this contract. So for free. And um, so you could get that there. If you're a little bit more advanced, you kind of want to start making, you know, six figures a year. You want to start uh, maybe closing more deals. Maybe you've done one, maybe you've done five, maybe you've done zero, but you want to get to the next level. I finally finished. Okay. It's taking me a while because I'm, I'm pretty focused in the wholesale. But I finished this comprehensive uh, online interactive course. It's kind of never been done before this way. And what it is is that it's a four week plus a bonus week. So it's five weeks. And um, I have videos per week and there's subjects. And it talks about all the way from mindset, from how you got to think about wholesale. What are the numbers? What do you have to do to hit these numbers? How do you keep track of this? to how to analyze a deal, how to find the deal, how to sell the deal, then how to organize it all. Then even some bonus stuff, how to hire people and things like that. I have it all in a course called Wholesale Mastery uh, made by me. Um, you can find more information on that on robolufa.com in the coaching tab. There should be two options. One option is the free one. Second option is Wholesale Mastery. I warn you, it's not cheap, but I will tell you this. What's never been done before is that when you purchase this course and enroll, you will have WhatsApp access to me on a group chat with everyone else that's enrolled in this course. Every week there's challenges that you need to be putting the challenges on this WhatsApp group chat. And I will go in there two to three times per week in the beginning, two to three times per week and sending voice notes to you or you know, sending explanations of if you did this right, if you did this wrong. I'm gonna be hard on you. I'm gonna be hard as a motherfucker. I'm gonna be honest. Because uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be spending some time on it. I wanna see how people succeed. Um, luckily, the wholesale business brings me some money, so I don't need uh, you know, a ton of money from the you know, wholesale mastery or, or coaching to survive. I do, <laughs> you know, we're, we're a profiting company. I'm not a non-for-profit here, but what, what I'm getting at is I'm going to spend time on this WhatsApp group chat. I really am. And if my time is being spent here, I am going to be hard as a motherfucker. I'm going to make sure people are doing stuff. And you could just send me a voice. I'll say, hey, Raul, I came across this deal. What do you think? Hey, Raul, I tried to do this, but it didn't work. Hey, Raul, I don't understand this. And I'm going to say, hey, John, hey, Max, hey, Sam, Sarah, you know, this is what you got to do. Hey, why don't you try it this way? Hey, I looked at that deal. I think you should offer this much. I think you offered too much, etc. So I will be a support system uh, one to three times per week there on a WhatsApp group chat once you're rolling this course. So not only are you getting the videos and me online, also our spreadsheets, our contracts, um, forms, uh, videos, videos of uh, live recordings of, of me and my team, live recordings of me on the phone, live recordings of me hiring people, things like this. You're going to have that in the mastery course. And on top of that, you're going to have access to me on a WhatsApp group chat. You can send voice notes or text and I'll be there to help you. <sighs> that was a lot. I'm actually about to head out to Chicago because there's a hurricane coming. 
this it's uh what day is it i don't even know what that is whatever one day uh there's a hurricane supposedly hitting miami it's like turning a different way now but heading to chicago for a couple days to just avoid it anyways guys i love you if this if this resonated with you check me out robelufa.com if not i still love you and i want you to succeed all the time <laughs> peace out guys one love